Hello, my name is Chris of Chrissy's Over the Mountain Crochet and Crafts, and today I want to show you how to single crochet around a wooden ring. And you can do many projects once you accomplish that technique. You can make towel toppers, teethers for babies, just all kinds of little projects. The towel toppers you see, I will have tutorials for here on my YouTube channel, and you can also find the written crochet pattern on my website Chrissy's over the mountain crochet.com for the plain towel toppers and the floating heart towel toppers you can purchase the pattern at Ravelry or Etsy today I'm going to use a three inch wooden ring look how neat that is and here is an example of a two inch wooden ring they work just fine the thinner tea towels work better for the two inch rings and today I'm going to work with a three inch wooden ring and H crochet hook. These wooden rings can be found in the macrame center at most craft stores. I'll be using cotton yarn today. You can use acrylic or whatever yarn you'd like. Place the slip knot on your hook. Now put the yarn in your yarn working hand. Reach down, grab that ring and the yarn will be above the ring now and the slip knot in front of the ring insert the hook into the ring reach through and grab that yarn and pull up a loop now slide that loop over you have two loops on the hook now yarn over and pull through two but you need this to be loose this doesn't need to be tight, especially this first stitch. This stitch needs to be loose so that we can place that last double crochet in it or whatever stitch we're going to be working with when we turn and start crocheting and making our fabric. There we go. Let's do one more. Put your hook into the ring, reach through and grab that yarn and pull up a loop. Now slide it over. We want this to be nice and neat. But remember, not super tight. So yarn over and pull through two. Now you have two single crochets on the wooden ring. Keep the top of the stitch at the top of the ring, on the outer top of the ring. Let's pull through, reach through, and pull up a loop. Oh, look, it crossed. I'm glad it did that. I want you to see that sometimes they cross when you grab that yarn. Maybe they don't for you, but they do for me. So just straighten that out, shove it over, reach through and pull through two. And now there are three single crochet stitches on the ring. One more time. Well, actually we'll do a few more times. Let's pull through two. There we go. Again, go through the ring with your hook, pull up a loop. shove the stitches yarn over pull through those two loops that's five single crochets straighten things out make sure it looks right yes all the stitches look good this will be the last single crochet that we execute yeah sometimes it just gets too tight and you have to back out of there all right let's do that again go through the ring grab the yarn pull up the loop, two on the hook, shove it over, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so now let's make some double crochets. But first, let's count those stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We have six single crochet stitches on the ring. So now let's, let's do some double crochets and I should have chained two here, but I only chained one, but we'll go ahead. So the double crochet will go in this stitch right here. All right, so here we go. All right, yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. All right, yarn over, insert hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert hook in the stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over into the stitch. 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, end of the stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now this last one can be a bit tricky. That's where that slip stitch is. We need the hook to go in front of the last leg of that first stitch. So it takes a little bit of work and that didn't happen. You can see my hook went in front of that last leg. Let's see, dig and dig and push. I had to use my ring finger to push that leg over to the side so that my hook went in front of the leg of that stitch and it happened. I'm excited. Take a good look there. It looks really good now. I'm ready to move forward. So now I can yarn over, pull up a loop and finish my double crochet. Well, that is it. You now have the beginning of a piece of fabric to create your own design. Crocheting around a wooden ring is so easy, then adding the extra stitches, you could make a macrame looking um, hanging. If you go outside, get a stick, maybe decorate it up somehow, sand it down, varnish it. You could make a wall hanging. There's so many things you can do with this technique of single crocheting around a ring. I hope you will like and subscribe. I hope you will come back to my channel often. It was so good to have you on my side of the mountain. The crochet pattern for this towel topper will be found on my website as free or you can purchase it in Ravelry or Etsy. I also have a floating heart towel topper that is so cute. I'll have a video tutorial for this and I will have the patterns for sale in my Ravelry and Etsy shop. All links will be below. Man, it was really good to have you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you soon. Bye.